a look, folks. Look how small the ants are that we're looking for here. See that right there? That is a pygmy snapping ant. So right now we're kind of panning, panning for gold. It smells so good. Oh, nice and earthy. My name is Jack, and I've spent the past few years traveling all over the globe to find some of nature's most unique and dangerous animals. My goal? To show the world that even the most bizarre life forms on Earth deserve both respect and appreciation. In today's video, we venture back into one of my favorite sects of the animal kingdom. That's right, today we are learning about one of my favorite groups of animals, Ants. These tiny insects are among some of the most successful, populous, and widespread groups of animals on the planet. They inhabit just about every temperate and tropical ecosystem they can find. In addition to having a fabulous diversity of species, these insects fill a variety of specific functions across the biomes they inhabit. Our journey today takes us to South Florida in search of one of the strangest groups of ants in the world, pygmy snapping ants. These minuscule marauders can be extremely difficult to find due to their size and hunting strategy. Let's see if we can find one of the strangest ants in the world. All right, everybody, welcome back to Jack's World of Wildlife. Now, as I'm sure you can see today, I'm joined by a good friend and fellow YouTuber. Why don't you introduce yourself? Hello, children. My name is Mikey Green, and I run a small YouTube channel called Cool Critters. Two C's, one word, if you want to search for it. Yeah, I mostly focus on invertebrates on there, but also sometimes like some bird and herp content. And today, we are out here specifically looking for inverts in this beautiful leaf litter behind us. 100%. So we're armed to the teeth with our high contrast platforms because we're going to be sprinkling the soil and the leaf litter to hopefully find some really cool but incredibly microscopic organisms. So we're going to get looking. Hopefully we can find some cool stuff. Oh. So right now we're kind of panning, panning for gold. So we are picking up uh, all sorts of dirt, pine needles, and leaf litter, and we're picking through to see if we can find the things we're looking for. Why might, we, why might we be doing this? Because the things we're looking for are like a millimeter long, maximum. They are so, so, so small. So it takes a keen eye and this high contrast on these white lids to be able to find some of these interesting little insects. Can you see that moving? Barely? Just barely. Okay, folks, you see this tiny little creature right here. That is a springtail. And this leaf litter is full of them. They're great detritivores and they break down organic material. And that is actually the main prey of our specialist target. Oh, there's a cute little baby centipede. That is the main prey of our, of our pygmy snapping ant target, those strumigenes. So it's a good sign that we've seen some of these springtails here because that is what our target ants are feeding on. So hopefully where there's food, where there's prey, there's predator. We'll keep poking around and hopefully we have some good luck. Now, despite their appearance, these ants aren't closely related to trap jaw ants at all. This is a great example of convergent evolution, where two unrelated animals develop a similar appearance due to a similarity in their ecology. Both strumigenes and trap jaw ants use their mandibles to quickly snatch their prey. Because of this, we can see some similar traits between the two. They may not be genetically closely related, but because they lead similar lifestyles, they need similar equipment. How cool is that? Man, I mean, it is 
we have our work cut out for us, wouldn't you say? Yeah. <laughs> it smells so good. Mm. Nice and earthy. Nice and loamy and fungally. We love it. We just oh, found I see one. Look Can at I that. Make sure that's Roger. Yep, yeah, that's Roger. Take a look, folks. Look how small the ants are that we're looking for here. See that right there? That is a pygmy snapping ant. Now, Mikey, what makes these ants so interesting and special and hard to find? So, ants of the genus Strumogenus, like this Rogers pygmy snapping ant, Strumogenus rogeri, have a very secretive nature, living completely underground in leaf litter and under logs in search for their prey items, springtails. They are extremely slow moving, they're about the same color as pine needles, and they even freeze when they're first uncovered. Uncovered, yeah. yeah. So it makes it really hard to find them. You need this white surface here to make sure that it sticks out against it. Yeah, absolutely. Man, I mean, can you guys believe the size of the insects we're on the hunt for today? I mean, that is small. There's no way that you'd be able to just pick that out without this kind of contrast. To make it even weirder, Strumidinus rogeri is actually among the largest species, and it's about two or maybe three times larger than some of the other species that we're out here looking for. So, so two or three times larger than the other ones we're looking for? That's pretty stinking small. Mm -hmm. <laughs> After a good time of carefully poking through leaf litter and soil, we were able to find all three of our Strumigenes targets. Strumigenes rogeri, Strumigenes eggersi, and Strumigenes ime. Although infinitesimal, finding these ants was a real treat and something I was glad to have Mikey's help accomplishing. I'm always just so fascinated by how variable ants can be, and these tiny springtail hunters of the forest floor don't disappoint. Now I know there's plenty of people who don't care for ants, but I hope I can show them in a different light today. These are beautiful societies of cooperation and survival. These animals work their hardest every day for the collective good of their colony. I hope in the future when you see an ant, you don't see a mindless stinging machine or a home invader, but you see a brave little being working its hardest to take care of its own. We don't have to like everything about the natural world, but it demands our respect and our appreciation. Thank you all for watching today. We had, as I'm sure you can see, an energetic and enjoying time looking for these ants. And we're still full of life, full of passion, full of love in our hearts for the tiny, misunderstood, and unique creatures that call this planet home. So I wanted to extend a thank you to Mikey here from Cool Critters. You're welcome. He was very integral in our search for these pygmy snapping ants. Without him, nothing that was accomplished today could have been accomplished. So be sure to subscribe to Mikey to see future videos much like this one. And of course, be sure to take care of yourselves until the next episode. Thank you all for watching, and a special thank you to Mikey for helping us create this amazing video. Thank you.